Today's video will show you a routine dental cleaning with a close-up view of the mouth, specifically in the mouth, removing the tartar plaque and stain, which I'm starting right now with the ultrasonic scaler. So what I do, I use this on every single patient, the ultrasonic scaler. What it is, it's, it's similar to a regular scaler, of course, but this one has water coming out of it. These can be called either piezos or cavitrons. It all depends on the vibrations, but the ultrasonic scaler in general uses a combination of both ultrasonic vibrations and high pressurized water to remove tartar, plaque, and stain. So like I said, I use this on almost every single patient and I just dial it either up or down depending on how much buildup they have. I use a very low setting if it's slight buildup and I use a very high setting if it's heavy buildup, heavy plaque and tartar, especially for SRPs and deep cleanings. So now, after I'm done, now you can see that I'm using the regular hand scaler. After I'm done completing all the surfaces with the ultrasonic scaler, I go back and clean all the surfaces with the hand instruments. There are different hand instruments for different teeth. So specifically, the ones you're gonna use in the front teeth are different from the instruments you're going to use in the back teeth, right? There's anterior and posterior ones. So that's what I do next. I go through the whole mouth again using these hand scalers, making sure that we clean every single surface of every single tooth properly and thoroughly. That's the name of the game, right? A thorough, proper cleaning. So you can see me kind of going around here. These are the posterior instruments, if you're interested, are usually more like they have more of a curve, they're more curvy. The anterior instruments are not as bent, there's not as many bends, just a fun fact. I don't know if you ever see it on Jeopardy. Anyway, so here I'm using a scaler. Scalers are more pointy. You can also use curettes, which I love as well. I'm just not showing that in the video. Curettes aren't as pointy. And then you can, we rinse throughout the appointment, we suction, and then at the end, we generally polish. Right here, I'm showing you know, a cup and paste polish. There's also the air polisher that goes like, psh, psh, psh. <laughs> that's a good, that should be ASMR. That's the one, it's like the baking soda. But this one is where you like pick a flavor and I polish all your teeth. It's nice and gritty and crunchy. I actually have a video all about why we polish, the reasoning behind it, which I'll link below. I also have videos on the differences between plaque and tartar because a lot of people think that's the same thing and it's not. It's something interesting to learn. So I hope watching this video is kind of fun. I think it's cool. We're really proud of getting in there with the camera. It was pretty difficult actually to have like a million people with a light camera action, a hygienist, a you know, so we worked hard on this. Hope it was cool to see a close up of the mouth. If you have any further questions about, or, you know, curiosities about teeth, you can also visit my website, teethalkgirl.com, or you can scroll through YouTube and find videos that I've made explaining more about what's going on on a routine dental cleaning. And then wrapping up here at the end, we generally floss, make sure all that crunchy stuff is out and, you know, out from your teeth. And it also helps us feel the context, you know, kind of we're doing a little exam while we're flossing too. And then at the end, we'll do an oral cancer screening where we check the sides of your tongue, underneath your tongue to confirm that there are no suspicious lumps or bumps present. After the hygienist cleans your teeth, does an exam, then the dentist will come in and do an exam. I also have a video on the four main things the dentist is looking for during your exam, so you're welcome to check that out as well. We'll link it below. I hope this video helped you. Please like and subscribe if it did. And until next Teeth Talk Tuesday, peace, love, and teeth.